How's it going, everyone? So I've been getting a few questions about bank switching and tuning, so I figured I'd uh, make a short little video to go over that. First of all, you want to go to the, the page 12 of the uh, basic setup, and then you want to go into your transmitter, and if you have a 7 channel or higher, you want to go into the governor section, and then uh, you want to set all three of the positions up, uh, starting with negative 100 for one, and then you want to do zero for the other, and then you want to do positive 100 for the last one, so you have a pretty wide spectrum. And then you assign it to any three position switch you want. Again, if your radio has three positions, uh, we'll cover the other one next. And uh, I use rudder dual rate because that's the easiest for me to grab in flight. You can use whatever you want. And it's important for the factory defaults, it's going to be auxiliary 2 is the channel. And the way it works is negative 100 is going to be bank 1. The 0% is going to be bank 2. The positive 100% is going to be bank 3. So you can pick those however you want to switch whatever position you want. And that'll be that. That'll allow you to have, let's say, a beginner for one bank, sport for the other, 3D for the other. Or, if you want to actually do different tuning, you can do it that way too. This is basically how to get that going. Now, for those of you that are using, let's say, a DX6i or a DX6, uh, this is channel 7 currently. The only other way to get this to work on your radio is you need to do some uh, stuff in the advanced menu. Let me stop the video real quick and I'll get it nice and zoomed in. Just a second. So for those of you that are going to be using the 6 channel radio, what you need to do is you need to go to the View tab and select Advanced, and then under the Common, go to Receiver, and from there, uh, once you've flown the helicopter and you're happy with the way the tail behaves, you would now need to set your tail gain in the software. So you would set it in the radio to the amount you want and then hit Set in Software and then it locks you at whatever your current value was. You can always go up and down in the software, but it basically locks at what it last was. From there, you can go to the setup selection channel, which is channel 7 by default. And what you'd want to do is you'd want to drop that down to channel 5, which is your gear channel on your 6 channel radio. Uh, and then you would go into your what used to be your tail gain, and now you'll have, uh, on the newer DX6, you have three positions. On the older DX6i, you only have two position. Uh, either way you go from now, you're ready. And it would be just channel five, your gear channel. And you do, again, the same thing. Negative 100 for bank one, zero for bank two, and positive 100 for bank three. And that allows you to get into the different uh, the different banks again in flight. Now from this point you want to go back to this menu and you want to flick through your settings and you want to make sure you're able to command each bank with the setup. Uh, if that's not working go back and watch the previous part of the video to make sure you covered uh, all, all your footwork there. But from this point on you should be able to do all three banks before you go any further from this point. Uh, next up, for those of you interested, would be to set up auto level, but if you're not going to do auto level, you can skip it. I'm going to do that in the next video, but from here, let's go directly to advanced. Uh, now, in the advanced menu, you have setup 1, setup 2, and setup 3. Those are your three different banks, and you can change everything from uh, your cyclic stick deadband and tail stick deadband, which is basically the pre- uh, pre-programmed amount and then right below it you have uh, your expo for all your different uh, channels and then you have if you're on the newer firmware you have the tail dynamic and pitch pump you can adjust here and in every single bank you have those working down next up would be tail all three banks has tail which comes in very handy if you want to do uh, a lot of fine tuning you can make little adjustments here and check each bank in flight uh, as you hover each portion, 
Uh, there's a nice little description of what each one does if you're unfamiliar with it. From there, uh, before I skip it at the very end, you have one up from the bottom is your tail rotational speed. You can fine tune how fast you want it to pyro here, which uh, helps a lot. And then if you want the pitch break and compensation and cyclic pre compensation, you can turn that on here and raise it to your desire. So on the cyclic page, you have aileron and elevator separate from each other for each part of the gains as well as now you have individual rotational speeds if you're on the newest firmware so let's say an elevator flip is faster than an aileron flip you can adjust those rates from there uh, and then the last two are going to be your agility and then your tail drag compensation which is on the newest firmware of course and the last page of that is your governor and uh, the auto level setup. Uh, most of you won't be using a governor, so you can skip that portion. But if you're using the auto level, uh, this is where we're going to adjust that. But we'll go into that in the next video. This is just a basic rundown of how to access bank switching.